kind of day it is today. It's a thrifting day. I'm so excited. I am partnering up with Coco Lou today to take the challenge to fill their amazing tote bags with a bunch of thrift goodies and you're going to come along with me. Coco Lou offers sustainable products made from recycled and plant-based materials and all of their packaging is recyclable. I love this because they're all about making just really cool products but at the same time coming alongside of you to just help you in making sustainable choices for your life. And their products are not only made to last but they're really comfortable and they're just really cute. And with every purchase, they'll donate a dollar and they will have one tree planted. So they are just working with you on every level to create a sustainable lifestyle. In their core product line, they have some really fun tote bags and I've been loving a tote bag lately. I just think it adds a little pop and personality and also a relaxed ease to every outfit. But what I love about Kokolu is they are making these products out of recycled bottles. So they have the Daily 8 tote bag that's made of eight recycled plastic bottles or the Daily Plus tote bag that's made of 20 recycled plastic bottles. And these are made from post-consumer plastic bottles, but they also look really stylish and durable and really fun. Not only are they made from recycled and natural materials, but they're 100% sustainable from the manufacturing process to your doorstep. And like I said, with every purchase, they'll donate a dollar and have one tree planted. And I have a few Kokolu products that I've brought in to my lifestyle. I love their Daily 8 tote bag. It's just more on the go. I love all of the color range that they have in this really great pastel lavender. Felt really fun and perfect for spring and going into summer. And then I am obsessed with the Daily Plus tote bag. I got it in this really punchy red. And this is just become my go-to for thrifting, for heading to the market, for heading to the fields with my boys or playing baseball. It's really my catch-all and I can put so many things in it. And I love that they're also making shoes that are made of natural materials as well and sustainable. And today we're going to have a really fun thrifting day. We're going to take the challenge to take the Coco Lou Daily Plus tote bag and we're going to see if we can find some thrift goodies to fill up the bag. It's going to be my purse and then it's going to be my bag to put all of my thrift finds. And I really just love this because I can just take it with me and I know that then I don't have to grab a plastic bag at the store. I can actually just use the bag that I have. And even I was at the grocery store the other day and I had my bag and we just threw my groceries in as well. So I just love that I can just eliminate using a plastic or a paper bag and I can just use the Kokolu bag. And I love this punchy color. I feel like it adds a little ease to the outfit. It's like you dress up a look like I did today, but then I throw in this bright red tote bag and it just adds something effortless and chic and I feel kind of fabulous and a lady on the go. So today I'm going to take the Daily Plus tote bag and load it up to go to the thrift store. Always have my extra battery for filming and it's so cute. So my challenge today is to fill up my bag, see what I can get inside of it. Hopefully it's one of those really magical thrift days where I find so many goodies. How cute is that? Popped on my outfit. And make sure you shop the Coco Lou bags and everything will be linked down below. And definitely check out their whole color range because there's so many fun colors to choose from and I just, honestly love having a few options in my closet. It's just great to kind of add that pop of color and then give myself something to use in all the different parts of life. And I know that I am helping add to living a more sustainable life with the Coco Lou bags. All right, I think we should go thrifting. <music> this really beautiful nightgown dress. 
I love the embroidery here at the front. Kind of that bib front. It's just that great dreamy kind of night but day dress that you wear all summer long and you just flounce around in it all day. cute this is the old Maggie London I love that little empire waist but I think what I really like about this is that it looks like it's gonna be more of a midi length I gotta see when I try it on but this really fun floral is so beautiful and very you know early 2000s for sure but I really like it I just spotted this old Eddie Bauer it's this linen floral dress it has buttons all down the front which I always love because that means it's really versatile and I can style it in multiple different ways. I also just think this could be so cute with a belt wrapped around it or you could put like a puff sleeve shirt underneath that's another floral and create like a whole dreamy floral moment. I just found this Jones of New York slip. It's a little bit worn in, so I don't know. I kind of want to try it on and see, but I just love this neckline here and the pastel blue with a little bit of a sage green. I love the design here, and I just feel like it makes it very statement because that scoop neckline. I just found an old Jessica McClintock dress. I love this. Very metallic silver lace moment. High neck, it's got this really great detail here that's the bodice, and then it's a drop waist, and the back is really fun. It's got this cutout. It reminds me of something Rodarte would have in their collection, like a little dark romance, gothic moment, which I'm kind of coming into like a gothic mindset too. I'm loving like all black. I think actually after the Met Gala with all the black, just made me think of more of that look I really love. So this is really fun. found this 70s dream dress. I love that it's sheer. It's got this floral print, but in kind of a fall rusty palette, which I, I really like. And then belt that baby up, your curry broad chops, some strappy heels. But I also just love this little scallop detail of the lace and then the little buttons, the waist. This is a Y2K slip dress, kind of. I like, again, it's that more dark, moody floral, but it's so sweet with the ruffles on the side. I love this more sweetheart neckline, the ruching right here, the empire waist, and then it's just got these cute little ruffles on the bottom. And I could see this with some Mary Janes and a bow in my hair, and maybe like a fun little cardigan to go with it. Definitely very sweet and heading into summer. Nicole Miller Sport, which I love. And I'm so excited to try this on and see what this looks like. It's like a drop waist with a little flare peplum. I almost think this is a mini dress, like a blazer mini dress from Nicole Miller. <gasps> so it looks through all the dresses and that's actually the first time I've started in the dress section in a while. I feel like lately I've been so into all the separate pieces. So it was kind of fun. I think with summer in mind that is starting to make me want to look at more dresses one thing i want to look for and i don't know if it'll be here today is more some spring summer blazers and layers i have so many in neutral colors but i want some fun colors or prints so we're going to see if we find any of those and we're just going to keep searching this one is interesting top i want to try it on but i love all these abstract pattern and then it's got really great buttons on it and it even has little paillettes sequins so I feel like this could be fun worn just like with one button and have like a very fabulous dance the night away moment on it. Just spotted this painted 
silk button down. I love this bold color, all the mixed prints. It's got this gorgeous silk material, and it's more of an exaggerated fit. So I feel like it could be worn kind of pajama style and out and flowy, or just as a layer, or of course, you know, tuck it in as a shirt. So I just spotted two button downs that I love. This is Stephen Allen, which is a really great classic brand. I love this color green. It has interesting, kind of more of a dolman sleeve and a boxy shape. So I want to definitely try this on and see, but it could just be a really great essential in my closet. This is an actual army shirt. I love it. It's got that great utility army material. It's a little bit worn in, which I love. And I have my army jacket, the camo jacket that I wear a lot, but just to have a more of a shirt option, especially for layering, I love. And I just love a utility moment. I love this. I love a thermal this bright marigold yellow and look at the tag it's like that great high sierra from mervyn's probably you know like late 90s or something like that but i love having these thermal layers and i think that color just makes it so much more fun oh my goodness i just found the most fun shirt this is cachet anytime you find anything from cachet it's usually a winner look at this this is the epitome of summertime on the sea it is bedazzled and bejeweled with every shell. I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm ready for a fabulous summer in this shirt. This is a great disco collar, 1980s red, with little darts here. It reminds me of Daisy Jones and the Six, which I just finished. It was so good. And don't, you know, I could see that with some 70s suiting styles. I just found this silk, raw silk, uh, cheetah print shirt. I love it, the Forenza tag. And I always want an animal print in my life and this is such a fun wild one. And I like the idea, of course, of just doing some kind of easy breezy layering with it, wearing it just with one button, you know, tucking it in, mixing prints with it, but right now I don't have many animal prints in my closet so this is a fun little addition. All right I have moved into outerwear, jackets, blazers. Let's see if I can find any for this current season we're in. I just found this army fatigue. What I like about this is it's a totally different color palette than what I usually have. I like that it's this kind of peachy tan color and then with the really light sage green and brown. So it's like this is a really fun version of the camo that I do not have. Just found this 70s blouse. Let's take a look at the tag because that's always really fun. Lady Manhattan. It's actually a really nice soft cotton so it feels more of like a summer spring blouse versus like a silk or a satin and I just love this print and this vertical stripe. Pretty 1960s, very poochy looking shirt, jacket. I like that you can just do the little buttons right there and then look at all this little scallop detail. <gasps> so pretty. This is an old IMC sequin skirt. I love the detail here at the waist and then all of these incredible sequins. Now it needs to be, you know, helped out and cleaned up a little bit, but I think worn low rise, that could be so incredible and such a statement. And really sequins were huge and just metallic in general for spring. So bringing this into spring and even summer. The craziest thing that I could like is this flames wrap skirt. I don't know, I think. It is kind of cool. It's really fun. <laughs> It's really fun. I just found these old anchor blue pinstripe cotton pants. These are so cute. These are definitely right in my sailor vibe for sure. Very fun. I found this little vintage cardigan shirt. I love this knit. It's really lightweight. And the little buttons are so cute. Definitely feeling, you know, all of the sailor feels with this one for sure. And I like that it's more of a boxy shape. This is adorable. This is Tomboy Lesport. Sailor, hello, nautical. I'm in on every level. I like this little neckline too. It's so cute. 
I love this. This is, reminds me a lot of Paco Rabanne, who always does really interesting netting details. And then the fact that it has these bejeweled gold elements to it, even here on the bottom, like a chandelier. Oh, I love this. And I love the idea of doing layering with this, with something underneath. And then this is the layer on top. It's this perfect type of layering for when it gets warmer because you're wearing a layer, but you're really not because it's got holes all over it. But this is so gorgeous. I just found this great corset top. Definitely was probably paired with a long skirt in the early 2000s for a prom. But I think this is really cute. I like all the little silver details and sequins all over it. a Nicole Miller tie which is so cute it's like go on vacation on a tie and eat some good food <laughs> this is interesting I like how long it is I just feel like all the nautical things are coming my way those that's really fun I love that I just found this really cute woven bag okay I just found this bag too this is Cole Haan I love it it's like a hundred out what I'm going to try on and we're going to go have a little try on party. Very small. <laughs> oh, the sleeves are so small. Lover. So cool though. I can't like move my arm so. <laughs> I really love this. Just very classic 70s. I love the print. I love the colors. I really love this one. I love the more muted palette of it. I really like this exaggerated collar. And I have more of the classic fatigues in my closet. So I think this is a this is a cool option to have. You cannot go wrong with an animal print. So blouse. And I love this one. disco collar. I really like all the little details right here. It gives it more of a western look and it feels very Levi's 70s, you know, western on the range. I really like it. Best piece of the day. Best piece that I've been on in a while. This is insane. Like, the most fun. I also like the detail on the back. I think I could just kind of tie it. And then it's got that little detail there. And it just feels like a vacation. You're just wearing a vacation on your shirt. This is amazing. This is Stephen Allen. And I love the boxy fit. It gives it that nautical look that I really am loving right now. And this really bold county green is so much fun. And I don't have anything like this in my closet with this really great color, just one solid color. And it just like even the detail here on the side, the cuts and the way it just hangs, it just has a great look to it. You know what I see this with? I see this with my sailor hat, this. <laughs> even like these pants or my striped pants from Scarf Brothers. <laughs> army jacket or army shirt really. This is to me just a closet essential. I have army pants that I think are just anybody should have them and I also think we should all have an army shirt in our wardrobe. Just gives a great utility to any outfit. You can juxtapose it with something really dressed up like sequins and then throw this on with it. But then you could just do a really casual look and I also love the idea of pairing this with more army pieces like my army pants and then you're almost creating more of a jumpsuit look and a monochromatic look as well. And it's a little bit different shade of green than I have so I think that could be fun too. This is fun. I like that it has a pajama vibe to it. And this uh, mix of colors is really playful. I think I like it. It feels like a party. 
that's right waiting to happen. It feels, it's, I think it's probably early 2000s, 70s, so it's like a little 70s disco vibe with some Y2K units. I also like the zigzag print, and all the little payettes are just fun. There's also another one near the back of it. Cool, but I think just some of the holes. I'm gonna pass on it. I don't know if I love this. It's cute. I don't always want to wear red. I'm thinking I want to see what it looks like if I wore it backwards. Yeah, I think the red is a no for me. At this point, I'm liking too many things, so I'm trying to keep up with reasons to not get something. <laughs> This is adorable. This is all the nautical things that I'm loving. This is actually the 70s is my guess. Really good. I love this neckline. It's really flattering. Just with some high waist, you know, trouser pants. Really cute. I also like it with doing this idea, like a choker. Choker and then letting it drink on the back. This is the Nicole Miller drop waist dress. This is so I love the little here at the back. Pockets. So it's like very schoolgirl as well. I think this is my favorite skirt. <laughs> this is so fun with these flames, and I love that it's a wrap skirt. It's more of that midi length. I love a straight midi skirt. And I just feel like this is the most fun piece that I can just get wild with and have fun styling it up as if I'm not wearing a flames skirt. It's so fun. Okay, these are old anchor blue pinstripe. I like that they have that nautical feel. They have a little flare on them too, which is really cute. And they are the low rise that we are loving right now. I like the little like kick flare right there at the ankle. And it definitely has that just great nautical feeling that I'm loving. Look at this incredible skirt. It's really fun sequin. I love the little waist detail here. I've got to clean up some of the threads that are falling off, but I feel like it's a really fun. I love how full it is. Twirly whirly. I turn this into like a summer moment. I guess I'm just thinking about summer because I keep referencing summer. We are in May, right? So much fun. I love this. This is the Maggie London floral kind of like shimmy dress. The Empire Waist. It's actually really pretty. And I don't have anything like this in my closet, so I feel like this could be a fun little addition. I love the floral print. I also think this could be fun to do some, you know, cool layering with it, wear something underneath it, wear some, you know, interesting things with it. A really great belt on. I actually really do love it with this scarf and kind of something hanging down the back. I think that would be really cute with it. So, I'm digging it. This Eddie Bauer dress is really cute. I love the idea of doing, because of the buttons, like doing layering with it. I love the idea of wearing like a prairie top underneath it and even a skirt under it. It could be really cute, just buttoned up here and then worn with you know, pants or denim or something. The only thing is it's a little bit big and I feel like right here in the armpit it almost kind of makes it very obvious that it's too big. So I think I'm gonna pass on it, but it is really cute. I love the idea. Here's the 70s dress. This is really pretty, it's very sweet. I actually really like the sheer detail, I think with little pantaloons or something underneath it could be so cute. And this little scallop detail here. A little belt if you want to, even with just these shoes for just something summery and fun. It's very dreamy. Here's the Jessica McClintock. talk. I really like this. I feel like I'm gonna tell like a spooky gothic story, but make it really romantic. I think that could be fun. I see a lot of potential in this dress. It's very fun, very dreamy and like a dark moody way. And I love this little detail here, and then all of the lace with the skin, and then the back with the keyhole open, and just this kind of scoop here at the back, too. And I think it would be really cool with like a really great belt. 
worn with it. Maybe some like fishnet tights and some Mary Janes. I like it a lot. This is the very first thing I found in the store and this is so cute. This little bib front makes this extra sweet. I love it so much and it's just like flouncy and it feels so perfect for just summer romping around, throwing it on with just shoes like I've got on, putting a big straw hat on, putting this over my bathing suit. It really is just like airy and light and breezy. I love it. I feel like I'm gonna say she's just good. Oh yeah. That could go like 70s Gucci, that could go yeah. like prairie. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can also layer something on top. Yeah. Think of that. I don't have any of these right now. I need them. You might have this. I could, yeah. I'm really good for you. I want to look at it for yourself. You know what? I just have an idea of chopping this. Oh, and crop. Yeah, yeah. crop. Because I have my longer one, and like, what if I chop this one? So I gave myself a different option, and it's a different color. So, Cute. Cole Miller, I just I have to do absolutely love this belt. I love how exaggerated it is because that just makes it more fun and I can do a lot of different styling with it. I could wrap it multiple times too, like that other belt I have from Y Project, but it also just has all those nautical details that I'm loving as well. So that's a yes, 100%. This is a yes, 100%. It's just so cool. And really great. I just love it. I don't feel like I have to have this. I have other woven bags. It's really fun in the 70s. I think I might need this one. I don't have to have that one. filled up this entire bag plus a hand full of finds. Today was insane. Oh my gosh. That was such a fun day. And I just was in that mood for one of those thrifting days that was going to be a massive brain boost. That's exactly what happened. I found so many pieces today that I just feel like are going to spark new ideas for me. I think that's some of the fun of thrifting and finding is just the pieces that then spark ideas and give you a whole new rejuvenation for your closet and ideas. And I'm so excited to go home and start styling up all these pieces. I have a few favorites today. I mean, first that shell shirt that's cache is one of the coolest things I've ever found in terms of the amount of embellishments that have been put on an item. It was so cool. And then I really love the flame wrap skirt. I just think that's so strange and great. And I love pieces like that because I think when you have something wild, you can just kind of juxtapose and mix in a lot of different things with it to make it actually just look so cool and normal to be wearing a flame skirt. And then, I mean, really so many of the pieces, it came down to hard decisions because I, I really liked so much and everything felt special in its own way. But I also really love that Jessica McClintock dress that's lace. I think that's going to be kind of a cool, moody piece dark romance to style up. It makes me think of Rodarte and also, um, not Eardum. I think it's Eardum. I don't know. I, I'll put the name of the designer that I'm talking about here. Anyways, this was such a great, exciting thrift day and I loved bringing you along and I loved bringing my Coco Lou bag along with me. I love that I can just eliminate having my plastic thrift bags and just throw everything in here. And I feel like I can get so much in this. And also I just love how bright and fun this is. And it's like, feels great and really durable. And I've been loving just a tote bag in general. I think it just adds a little ease to every outfit. And so the fact that they have such fun colors is very appealing too. Cause it's like you have a little pop-up personality on to any outfit. So make sure to go down into my video description below and click the link to shop the Kokulu bags and get in on all 
all the goodness of Coco Lil. Right, well that is it for today. Thank you so much for coming along. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And finally, always play dress up. Bye! Bye.